So it's been a little while since I've done a video. There's a few things here, unfortunately, I haven't been able to do uh, some reporting on the recent news. So I'm going to go through uh, three pieces of BTCC news today. And um, we've had over the last, I think, week or two, something like that. Um, so first up is Tom Oliphant has been confirmed as staying at uh, WSR. Don't think that's a surprise. Now it's the third season in the car now. Got his first win last season. And I think for WSR, like I said before, it's good to have uh, some... Uh, some continuity in the team, keeping Tom in there, hopefully he'll get even better this season, you'd hope. Um, it's good for him, I think it works for WSR, good teammates for Tickington, and hopefully for um, Oliphant, hopefully that'll be good for him to be carried on there, so no surprises there, but Oliphant stays at WSR. The next announcement was the announcement of the second, uh, sorry, the third WSR, WSR driver, um, so that is Stephen Jelly. I don't think that's a surprise either. Quite a lot of rumours were suggesting that it would be Stephen Jelly. So uh, I think that's a good appointment. WSR have worked with Jelly before. Jelly's won races for them in the past. Uh, and I'm quite glad to see Jelly there. And as a Team Parker Racing pulled out this season. And the rumours were that Jelly would then go to WSR. That has happened. I think for WSR they've got a great driver in there. Stephen Jelly won quite a few races. Especially for them in the past as well. Uh, and for Jelly, I think he's now in probably the best car on the grid, isn't he? In the uh, BMW 3 Series. Hopefully he can win uh, some races there. Really good sign for WSR then. Uh, I think it's going to be great for Jelly. And I'm very excited to see what he does this season. He's going to be my uh, dark horse for the championship this season. Especially in that uh, 3 Series. He's got a good pedigree in the rear wheel drive. Especially WSR in the past, the BMWs. Uh, so now to be driving the 3 Series. I think he's just going to be right up there. I don't think that one series has been always the greatest car since he's had it. Um, but he's always been up there competitive. So I think now moving into the three series alongside Turkington and Oliphant. I think uh, Stephen Jelly, said for me, is going to be my dark horse for the championship. And the final piece of news I'm going to discuss today is the announcement of uh, Rick Parfit Jr. At joining the BTCC uh, driving for Accelerate uh, trade price cars in one of their Highlanders. Yeah, I think this was Rick Parfit Jr. in particular was a driver people were expecting. He announced quite early, uh, I think before Christmas, that he was trying to get a deal together for a driver in the championship. No one quite knew where, what was going on. Uh, it was a good, good pedigree in the GT championship. He is a champion. Um, so people were looking out to see what was going on there. Seemed to be, I think he did a bit of a pre announcement before it was coming out, so he had, kind of had news coming out. Uh, and he is joining Accelerate Trade Price Car, so he'll be teammates with uh, Tom Ingram. So he's got one great teammate there. Got the uh, teammate who's going to be good for the championship. We've got uh, Jack Butel, who was new for the championship last year, but he's got some uh, pedigree in the in the championship now. And Chris Smiley, who drove the car last season. So that does mean that Senna Proctor will be uh, out of the Highland Day this season. Um, whether he gets another drive, I'm not sure yet. But um, Rick Parfit Jr. said be interested to see what he does. I think he'll probably be I think he might, my pick for the... Uh, for the Jack Sears Trophy, but that all depends on how the uh, Cooper goes with Glenn Gaddy in it. If the Cooper's going, Glenn Gaddy could be his biggest uh, challenger for that. But I think Rick Parfit Jr., I think that's the way I said Jelly would be my dark horse for championship. I'm going to go with Rick Parfit Jr. If he can get off the ground, hit the ground running, sorry, uh, in that hand eye, he should be good to go for the Jack Sears Trophy. So, yeah, so uh, in the news, so we've had one uh, confirmed retained driver. We've got uh, one driver returns to an old team and Jelly going back to WSR. I said, I'm really, that's quite an exciting one for me. Quite enjoy that one. And we've got Rick Parfit Jr. I'm not big big GT uh, fan or watch a lot of it, unfortunately. Um, but a lot of people were super excited to see him join the championship. So hopefully it will be great to see what he can do. And of course, there is news at Dynamics. Um, I'm not going to do that in today's video. I'm going to leave that till tomorrow. They're going the announcement of their first driver. Um, but I will have a little discussion of the other news they've got out this week as well. Uh, I have a little talk about tomorrow when I uh, discuss the new driver. Like I said, some good news coming up. I think we've got four available seats left now in the championship. So we'll see where they go. See if we've got any uh, drivers staying in teams, drivers joining new teams, or got some brand new drivers coming into the championship. So Nick Hamilton did announce at one point that he's got a drive ready, but still hasn't announced where it is yet. But be looking forward to see what other news we have going forward. So I'm going to think there's two months left now, about eight weeks, something like that. Eight or nine weeks till the championship starts. So can't wait for that. Thank you for joining me for today's video. And I will have another one out tomorrow with uh, 
the new Dynamics uh, announcement. So I'll see you in that one.